there, Berrykins. And how are you on this very wonderful day? <laughs> Greetings, Berrykins, sweet friends and pets. Lend your ear. Gather round the berries. Can you feel it? Yeah! It is berry picking time. That's right. That's what I said. Lend a hand, welcome to baby berry land. Berry by berry, one by one, pick till the work is done. From the early morning, the whole day through, pick, pick, pick is what we do. Row by row, one by one, pick till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh and sing. There's magic in the air, we are the berry kings. We need to be oh so sweet, we know when it's right to eat. Juicy jolly, one by one, pick till the work is done. Do, 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 pick till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh and sing. There's magic in the air, we are the Berry Kings. We like what we do and do what we like, don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun, pick till the work is done. Come on everybody. Join the celebration, not just a garden party. Happy Harvest Day! Berries are the reason for this happy season. We're just getting started. Come on, let's celebrate! From the early morning the whole day through, pick, pick, pick is what we do. Row by row, one by one, pick till the work is done. Ah, oh, thank you, Princess Berrykin. What would we do without berry juice? <laughs> No berry juice! Why, the entire town would power down! We must keep the juice flowing to keep Baby City going! See you later, everyone! So guys, what do you think? Um, what is it? It's wonderful! It's great! It's incredible! It's messier than my closet. It's my latest, greatest idea! A berry juice fountain that squirts every flavor! The Berrykins are helping me! Look out! Coming through! But how do they know what to build? You know how you're always saying, before you can, you need a plan? Do I say that? Yeah! yeah. <clears throat> uh-huh. Listen, Orange, I think this is great, but what if somebody falls in? Oh, yeah! Oh, I'd add, um, life preservers. <laughs> A fountain with life preservers. Yeah! Red ones! Blue! <laughs> I know, uh, chartreuse, maybe mauve, uh, or pink, or green, uh, tangerine. <laughs> oh, I can't make up my mind. But what if it overflows, rivers of juice, my salon gets flooded, my hairbrushes get all sticky. Icky. Or build a, a, what is it, you know, like a, a dam around the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a frozen juice. Fountain! No drip, no flood, no worries. <laughs> yeah, an ice fountain. An ice fountain? That's great. Or, uh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, here it is. You ready? Forget the fountain, make it a pond so we can ice skate on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll teach an ice dancing class. Great ideas, but wait. No, no, I got a better idea. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oh, now custard. That's not something to play with. <laughs> oh. Hi, Mr. Lion.
long-faced caterpillar? Oh, I didn't mean to startle you, Miss Shortcake. Merely dropped by to see if I might be of assistance. Well, I'm working on this new smoothie recipe, but... I don't know. Something's just... Hmm, missing. Perhaps I could. Ow! <coughs> oh, dear! Oh, oh, my! Poor Mr. Longface. Here, let me fix you another one. Thank you. <laughs> Perhaps one with a bit less splash, eh? <laughs> the last chapter of your cousin Miranda's adventures? Ah, ah, ah. Patience, patience. As my dear sister Esme Trottenthrope Longface wrote in the adventures of the fabulous Longfaces after she was rescued in the nick of time from a stampede of wild frogs. No one can be sure a story is over until it ends. All right. But what will you do when all the story times are finished? Oh, well, you know, there's always some new adventure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Think of it as a storm, but a spring fling of the upper stratosphere. It will go as soon as it came, leaving blue skies and rainbows as far as the eye can see. Okay, ready? Now's our chance to find out. You go first. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm? Uh, Mr. Longface, for story time tomorrow, we want to make sure everyone in the audience will be able to hear the thrilling ending of your cousin Miranda's fabulous adventures. So we're having a little rehearsal. <laughs> oh, 
Indeed, I. Uh, oh my, I just don't know. Oh, what say? <laughs> oh, can everyone in the audience hear me? <laughs> now pretend Strawberry has just introduced you. The applause has died down. Your audience is on needles and pin. I mean, uh, pins and then needles. <laughs> you open your book to the last chapter, and you're on. Uh. As my great uncle Fortescue says, a journey is never over until it's uh, over. Yes. Who well, gets your treasure? Huh? When will you tell us the end? Well, I. Ooh, why listen? That's what we're doing. The storm. It's gone. He's right. No wind, no thunder. Huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sometimes a storm brings a very beautiful day. The berry works has no water. Excuse me. What's going on? Oh, strawberry. That's what's blocking it, all right. The storm must have rolled it down. But what's keeping it from falling? Aha! That little rock is holding up the boulder. That thing looks like it weighs... 15,361.7 pounds. Give or take. So, how's anyone as giddy as us supposed to move something as... Big as that. We'll think of a way. I hope so, because without water, the berries will die. No water, no berries. No berries, no juice. No juice, no city. And no city, no yeast. <laughs> no kidding. The magic you use in the grove, can't you? Our magic only works with berries. Must find water, mustn't tell. Strawberry, are you sure we can't just pull it down with sticks or ropes or push it or something? Well, even if we had enough rope in the whole town to lasso that thing, I don't think we'd want to. Why not? Take a look. That rock rolls down that hill, it'll head right for town. Hmm. Huh? Oh, great. Just great. It'll flatten the whole town. We'll find a way. Nothing's going to get flattened. <laughs> Except Orange. It's all right. Hey, Orange. You okay? okay? If only we could move it without being there. How can you move something without being there? Nobody's going anywhere near there. It's too dangerous. But now what? Don't worry. The Berrykins will find water. <laughs> Stra 
strawberry? Don't you want to come inside? It's getting dark. They're not back yet. I better go look for them. Did they find water? <gasps> Wait, I don't understand. What do you mean, too far? They found water, but it's too far away to bring it here. What does that mean? It means that since we can't bring the water to us, we're going to have to move to the water. Move? What do you mean? Why? You mean, move away? For good? We have to pack? Leave Berry Bitty Sea? But where will we live? We'll build a new town. Where the water is. When? We have to leave in two days. <gasps> two days? The Berrykins are transplanting the berries into pots. If we don't leave for the new place in two days... The berries will die before we get there. Oh. <gasps> Custard? No. What's that? Running out of juice. No juice, no power, and no hair dryers. How would I dry hair without hair dryers? Run around in the wind? Not funny. I can't believe we have to move. This is so awful. I'm just going to miss Berry Bitty City so much. Oh, Lemon, I'm sorry. Oh, this reminds me of the adventures that brought me to your fair city when I found myself in a land that was dry as a piece of toast. Without the jam, <laughs> why, everything would have shriveled, including me, if it hadn't been for the great geyser stone. Geyser stone? Oh? Uh? Hmm? Y yes, certainly. The great geyser stone. Oh, yes, wonderful device. A uh, real treasure first discovered by... Ah, here we are. A golden stone used by different civilizations so as to avoid dependence on the uncertainty of a natural water source. One puts the stone in the sun and immediately up from the ground springs pure, nourishing water as much as may be needed. <laughs> golden? Is it real? Why, absolutely. It's just south of here. How does it work? Hmm? Oh, some sort of electrical interaction between the uh, minerals in the rock and moisture in the ground, I'd imagine. Activated by exposure to sunlight. Well, just guess I'm uh, more of an adventurer and poet than a scientist, eh? You would have to ask my cousin, Bernafric Longface. Now, there was a scientist. He was... Can you tell us where to look? Where to find it? The Great Geyser Stone? Oh, well, the directions are hard to describe. <laughs> More hithers and yons and twists and turns than one can shake a compass at. <laughs> but you could find it yourself, right? <coughs> oh, most definitely. Is it far? A diverting perambulation, I assure you. A uh, leisurely stroll. You wouldn't have to move. This could be the answer. What do you think, Strawberry? Now, you've actually seen this stone with your own eyes, Mr. Longface. Why, certainly. A sight to behold. And you never thought to bring it home with you? Well, there was no need to remove it from its natural habitat. But as this is an emergency, dire at that. Can we go find it? This will save Berry Bitty City. Please, Strawberry. Please, Strawberry. Well, at this point, we should try anything, I suppose. Yes. All right. Let's go get it. We'll start first thing in the morning. <coughs> oh, 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 thank you. Yay! We're going on a journey, Miss Longface. I'm 
gonna miss you, Custard. Oh, you be good. <laughs> we'll be back as soon as we can. You understand? We can't not try to find it. Good luck, Strawberry. Yeah, good luck! Yeah, take care! Bye, Strawberry! Seems to be not a path. Looks like it's the end of the road for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that joke got lost. That's not the only thing that's lost. We are. Never fear. I've made this trip many a time. Just keep heading south. Shouldn't you check your compass? Why, certainly. Better safe than sorry. Hmm. It, it seems to be... Uh, no. no uh, 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 oh, yes. Definitely south. Are you, um, sure it's working? Well, certainly. My grandfather, Longface, gave me this compass. He crossed the Atlas Borrego Mountains with, uh... My! Must have gotten some rocks in the works. Hmm. Oh, doesn't matter. We can tell which way is south from the sun. That is, if we could see the sun. Hmm. Orange, what is it? Uh, just a thought. What thought? Forget it. You know, I'm not good at thinking things through. That's why I always rush in. Like at the boulder yesterday? Of course you're good at thinking things through. I think you're super smart. You do? You just gotta give yourself a chance. Well, it's just... All these are Banya Banna seeds. And here's the Banya Banna flower. And a Banya Banna always faces the sun. Even when the sun is hidden. But that would mean south is that way. The sun! Wow, Orange! After you! Come on, Mr. Longface! Orange figured it out! Miss Orange? Ooh, brilliant cogitating! He means good thinking. And he's right. Thank you, Blueberry. Just as Edna Throttlesnipe handed him the secret key, it slipped through his fingers down into the well. You see, with both hands pulling Miss Throttlesnipe to safety, he couldn't hang on to both the key I and think he her. read this part to us last week. Uncle Bert Shh. listened with intent. Let him keep going. Maybe he'll finally get water. to the last chapter. Uncle Bert listened with intent for the sound of the key hitting water. But none came. Instead, 
the sound of metal hitting stone. They logicalized that the well was indeed a dry well, and it might be possible to climb down and rescue the key. Having acquired ropes and ladders, Uncle Bert lowered himself down, down. Watch out! <laughs> oh no, what do we do? Think, think, think. Come on, after him. Quick, Lemon, quick. Wait, guys, we really should think this through. We don't know where we'll end up if we just take off willy-nilly. Blueberry, we have to take a chance. We're losing our guide. Come on, hurry up! Hurry up! Come on, let's go! I've got it. Uh, I bet we're pretty far off course. Why, not at all, Miss Shortcake. I am confident we are right on course. But surely we can't be.
bad as it may, I'd prefer, if you please, to be back on terra firma. He wants to land. I, uh, uh, I don't think... Uh, I mean, maybe that isn't. Not such a, such a good idea. Right now, anyway. <laughs> Necessary? Oh, you're ever so kind. Oh. Well, here we are. Whoa! 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 Wow, Raspberry, that's a hot new dance. <laughs> We're lucky no one got hurt. Ooh, almost there. What bewitching countryside this is. A perfect location for New Berry Bitty City. That is, if we fail to find the Great Geyser Stone. Huh? Huh? You're not saying we would move Berry Bitty City here. Is that what he's saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> Girls, listen. I'm sorry, but I don't think we should keep going until I get clear-cut information from Mr. Longface. Wait here. Mr. Longface? If this is not turning out to be the leisurely stroll you described, with all due respect, I need you to tell me where the geyser stone is. Now. Um... Uh, why, now? Uh, of course, Miss Shortcake. Uh, let me see. The great geyser stone is... in the, uh, glorious cavern of... The Seven Waterfalls. And where is that? <laughs> why, why, it's right over... There! Oh, come on! Too bad we didn't bring our flying flowers. I'm sorry I brought you all this way for nothing. We better turn back. Uh, chin up. You tried your best. There's really no shame in turning home. But what home? It will be staggering. You could rebuild Berry Bitty City in an all-new spectacular location. And you can rebuild it bigger and better than ever. Why, you won't even miss your old home. Very busy city has never had its own amphitheater. And Matthias is a wizard. She's just joking, right? I'll find out. Oh, my. Just a minute, Mr. Longface. Please don't look at me. Long. Crying is nothing to be ashamed of. I know I joke all the time, but but the truth is, I love Berry Bitty City. It's 
my home. Another home won't be the same. Um, that's all you had to say. Are you sure this is such a wise plan? We can't give up, Mr. Longface. It just seems this may be too grueling for you girls. Difficult for us girls? Nothing is too difficult for us girls. I know. If I braid a bunch of these wreaths together like hair, it would make a stronger rope. Great idea, Lemon. <laughs> Let's not, uh, I don't know if this is best to, uh, perhaps we should rethink... Mr. Longface, we've got to save Berry Bitty City. I'll go first, to make sure it's safe. Mr. Longface? Oh, no. <laughs> You'd better go without me. I couldn't be of much help. Don't be silly. You know we can't find the Great Geyser Stone without you. Oh, but really, I... Don't worry, Mr. Longface. Piece of cake. Just don't look down, and you'll be fine. Uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Wow! It's sure glorious, all right. Just like you said, Mr. Longface. But where are the seven waterfalls? That's right. And where is the great geyser stone? Oh, my. Not here. Perhaps stolen? Stolen? I, uh, well, that is. That is, uh, Miss Shortcake, I must tell you. You did it, Mr. Longface. Come on, let's try it out. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> well, I'm afraid we're too late. Too late? 
Well, you see, my dear, the rock is powered by the sun. Uh, did I fail to mention that? And? And we've just missed it. The sun. Pity. We'll have no trouble in the morning, of course. Oh. <gasps> Blueberry! Organize my boutique while you're at it? What if I can't remember where I packed my hairspray? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Longface, this would be a very excellent time for you to finish the story. Uncle Bert, the well, the key? Oh, yeah, me and me. Story. We want to hear the ending. Oh, I... I'm extremely enervated. Very tired. Why, yes, tired. And I believe, if you don't mind terribly, I prefer to turn in early for the evening. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. No. Huh? <sighs> okay, who's the Joker? Where is Mr. Longface? Where's the Great Geyser Stone? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Longface! The Great Geyser Stone! Mr. Longface, how did you get down there? And how did the stone get over there? <laughs> rock thief. He came upon me in my sleep. I woke to catch him stealing away in the night with the stone. <laughs> oh, this is so awful. What if he falls? Let's get the geyser stone first, then him. Good idea. I know how to do it. How? Oh, no, no. Uh, not gonna happen. Something else, maybe. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe, uh, uh, uh. Come on, Raspberry. You had an idea. Oh, no. It was silly. I'll think up some better ideas. 
We don't have time for other ideas. Yeah, Raspberry. Oh, but, 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 but we don't have any ideas. So out with it. Come on, we need something. But, but if, if it doesn't work, you, you won't like me anymore. I promise we'll still like you if it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I promise I will too. Well, okay. Here it is. Uh, 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 lower! Uh, a little more. Okay, hold it. Acorn flour, two teaspoons of pansy petal, what? Half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Oh dear, I, if you would, I would prefer it if... Dandelion puree, mung bean souffle, sautéed rose petal with poppy seed dressing? Wait a minute, this is a cookbook? A few of my favorite recipes for my favorite son? Love... Mother? <laughs> but where are all the stories of your big family? Cousin Miranda? Uncle Bert? Cousin Morton? No. I don't have a family. All I have is Mom's cookbook. <laughs> the great geyser stuff? <laughs> That's why I tried to dispose of it before you girls discovered the awful truth. The awful... The, the... Yes? It's just a rock! <laughs> but all the gold! <laughs> it's just fool's gold, I'm afraid. 
<laughs> what? It's a mineral called iron pyrite. It sparkles like gold. That's why it's called fool's gold. So we're the fools? <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Shortcake. It's not like that. Please don't take it that way. It's simply... You, you were all so sad. To lose your home, and I wanted ever so much to distract you. To give you a bit of cheer. Of hope. A happy story. I done. <laughs> we thought maybe you left. Leave without you? That would never do. You are our hero. <sighs> I'm afraid... I'm not. I couldn't find the Great Geyser Stone. Hmm. I'm so sorry. I know, I... I, I really let you down. Banna. Remember? That was pretty clever of you, weren't? The way you figured out where South was. <gasps> oh, hey! Can I help you pack? Or carry some things? Or, uh... Mm -hmm. well, is there anything I can do, Plum? I'm only taking these. Oh, hey, look! Hey, it's the Thistle Wiggle! Oh, remember? <laughs> Thank you.
up the boulder? Mm. The one you tried to move. I don't know. Don't remember. You said if only we could move it without being there. Okay, okay. I know it was silly. You don't need to rub it in. What is it? Maybe nothing. But maybe something. Okay, here's the plan. Blue will lead a group of barricades, and using this pulley block, close the keystone holding the boulder free. So it can come crashing down over our homes? You will lead another group down here and build a giant net that will deflect the boulder down the ravine. I really don't think... I mean, I'm sorry, but it's way too dangerous. Who was it that said, sometimes you have to take a chance? But there's got to be a safer way. We don't have time to think up other ideas. Guys, come on. We really need to catch up to the Berrykins. Please, stop this. I don't... We can't do this in enough time. You will lead another group down here. You're talking about a big project. That will deflect but you're the one who always says... It doesn't matter how fitty you are, if you keep believing in big possibilities. Yeah, but I mean... It's just... Just what? I really let you down, taking you on that <laughs> awful journey looking for that fake rock. Most fun I've ever had! And all the times we didn't think we could do something, we got to fly! Thanks, Thanks to you! you. How will we make anything this big? We need lots of help. Exactly. Huh? That's where the Berrykins come in. There isn't time. They've already left. The strawberries need to be replanted. They're not going to turn around and come back here to take a risk on another wild scheme. They will if you ask them. Me? Why would they listen to me? Because you have a serious talent. What? Cooking? No, helping people believe they can do anything. Yeah, you talked me into jumping on that sled. You got me to stick to just one idea and try it out. No one's been able to do that before. <laughs> you got me to fly when I couldn't even move. <laughs> yeah, you did. And you bounced pretty well, too. Oh, please, Strawberry. We believe in you, and, and the, the Barricans do, too. We don't have enough time to do all the measurements I'd like to do, but I would put the net right here. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, uh, Mr. Longface, can you thread a needle? A needle? Could you please? Well, uh, I was just leaving, but I suppose I could. Uh, uh. Is everyone ready? 
ready? <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. Pow! Give me shortcake. Now reach. I can't get it free. Oh, here. Use this. gift to present. Ooh, a present! Who's getting the gift? A special gift? For taking us on our adventure in the first place. Because if we hadn't gone to look for that little rock, we wouldn't have found a way to move the big one that was stopping our water supply. Huh? <gasps> it's okay. Come on in. Oh, really, Miss Shortcake? They're never really going to forgive me for what I put you through. Probably not the best idea. Don't be silly. Everyone makes mistakes. This is for you. Go ahead. <gasps> open it. But old pages, they're... they're blank. For you to write our stories in. And yours. Welcome home. Welcome home, Mr. Longface. We have named this the Great Geyser Fountain. <gasps> Does it 
Take over, Mr. Longface. Oh, my. I will indeed. Each other down as long as we're together. 